I'm Laura. Today we're doing the 2015 Honda Pilot Special Edition. Today we are in Warwick, Rhode Island. I believe we are in Connecticut Point. We would like to say thank you to Herb Chambers Honda of Seekonk for letting us take out the Pilot. So 2015, the Honda Pilot has a new trim level available to it. Still the same body style, but they added the Special Edition. Um, special Edition gets a couple more accessories, a little bit more luxury without having to have to go all the way to the EXL and, or the Touring to get a bunch of the stuff. So like I said, this is the Special Edition. It is set between the EX model and the EXL model. A couple, thing, couple different things from each level. Walking around, you see the front still same strong solid grille. You're gonna get the fog lights. You're gonna see specific 18 inch alloy wheels, body colored side mirrors. You're gonna get the body molding. You're gonna get the moonroof included on this one. Coming around back, still has the same truck like appearance. You're gonna get the glass hatch open. All 2015 Honda Pilots come with a class three trailer hitch. Touring models come with the wiring harness. You're gonna get the special edition badge. We have the four wheel drive option. Living in New England, that's pretty much all we have. So under the hood of the 2015 Honda Pilot Special Edition, you're gonna see the 3.5 liter iVTEC V6 engine with the variable torque management. Has 250 horsepower and it has a 17 city, 24 highway and a combined EPA of 20 miles per gallon. So behind the wheel of the 2015 Honda Pilot Special Edition, you are gonna feel like you're in the EX. You're gonna have a little bit of extras like the EXL res. Um, you're gonna get a lot of like little things that are important that you probably would miss. Um, for about $4,000 less than the EXL res, you're gonna get a bunch of different things. Um, the only thing that you're lacking would be the leather seats. I could live without that. Um, you're gonna get the automatic lights. You're gonna get all the steering wheel mounted controls. Bluetooth is standard on all 2015 pilots. You're gonna see, starting here, giant glove box. You're gonna get a USB connector, 12, uh, 115 volt adapter. RCA hookup in the back, so you can actually hook up like a gaming console, play something like that. Interface dial, different displays, a couple different displays you can look at on your screen as you're driving along. Tri-zone climates, um, the only downfall that I think they definitely should have put on is in the Odysseys, now you can adjust the back temperatures from up front. On here, you actually have to reach your hand back if you want to turn it off. Heading up a little farther, you're gonna see your DVD, your rear entertainment system. All available sources up front are gonna be available in the back. So the two gig hard drive that you're gonna be um, access to in the back, the XM radio, that is standard now on the, that's the little extra that you're gonna see, the satellite radio on the special edition, usually only available on EXL models. You're gonna get the real-time four-wheel drive system, the variable torque management. You are gonna get the moonroof. I like the moonroof. One touch, tilts, goes back, closes. You're gonna get the home link system. You are gonna get, um, the only thing that's kinda eh, is that you don't get the power lifting tailgate, which I actually like, press and hold, and the tailgate will open up by yourself. But, can't have everything. Let's go check out the cargo space in the back. So second row has about 38.5 cubic inches of leg room. It's very roomy back here actually. I could drive for a while. I do get motion sickness, but I could drive you around here for a long time actually. So good part about the rear seats is gonna be the res system, which is now available on the SE models. Remote that pops out, two sets of wireless headphones that come with it. Um, like I said, all available sources up front are available in the back so we can listen to XM radio, we can watch a DVD, all that good stuff. Let's check out the third row leg room. So, 32.1 cubic inches of leg room back here. It is a little cramped, I'd probably get annoyed, but I could handle it for around the town. So behind the third row seat, you're gonna see 18 cubic feet of cargo space. Kind of small, um, good enough for, you know, some shopping bags, uh, groceries, 
pulling down the third row seats will further maximize your cargo volume. You are gonna get 47.7 cubic feet of cargo space, enough for a bunch of luggages, um, sporting events, hockey gear, stuff like that. Putting down the second row seats is going to expand you to 87 cubic feet of cargo space. I'd say ladders, good for skis, um, surfboards, but you could also get the roof racks for that. So that was the interior and exterior features. Let's see how she does on the road. You know, sometimes when you're going on the highway, you don't even realize how fast you're going because the road noise is so minimal and because the ride is so comfortable that you don't even know that you're going 80 down the highway. I feel high up. It's a good ride. Steering is a little loose. I think I like a little bit heavier of a steering, but usually I'm alone. But you know, if I had kids or, you know, I'm, I'm, it's great to go to the beach in. Um, we always grab them when we need stuff with a lot of space. It has a lot of cargo space in it. You can fit a bunch of stuff. You can fit coolers, you can fit chairs. It's awesome. Um, I feel good driving it. It does have a lot of visibility. The mirrors are really wide, you can see a lot. The back window is big, it's bright. Um, it does have the privacy glass on the back, which is good. So that was my review of the 2014 Honda Pilot's new trim level, the special edition. Thank you for watching me. Thank you to Herb Chambers Honda of Seacon for letting us take out the car, and I will see you next time. My hands are sweaty.